Hi Leo, it's Power Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is going to be your own reading today, Leo. And of course we have your Oracle cards here, right? This is how we do it. And uh, today we're using three different uh, brand new decks. And so, uh, yeah, so yeah, join me here and uh, let's do your reading, right? <laughs> so we have, uh, Leo, you know, we have uh, this card here about career and life purpose. So clearly right now you're going through something... Uh, Maybe you are trying to figure out what to do, like what is your life purpose. You could be trying to figure that out here. We also have the card of Eros, right, and or Eros, right, and this is uh, kind of like the namesake card for Eros Aramasotti, right, who is uh, a very Italian singer. He used to sing ballads, and uh, there's a couple songs he sang that were very popular in the United States maybe 20 years ago, uh, but uh, he's a great, great singer, right, yeah. And so, you know, but this card, uh, Leo, talks about these two people who really kind of can't get enough of each other. They are naked, and they're both looking at each other like, you know what, like, you're the one. Yeah, you're the one, baby, and they're, yeah. And, you know, the man is very happy with the woman. She's very happy with him. Cupid is in the back, and uh, they are standing kind of like in the Garden of, e uh, of Eden or somewhere, but... All these beautiful roses are around them, and uh, they're in a beautiful place here outside, of course. And this card talks about somebody who thinks the other person is like the perfect partner. Yeah, but it talks about somebody who is kind of very attracted. This is about sex and uh, deep attraction. Yes, that's what that's about. <coughs> You have a couple cards here, Leo, that talk about your psychism, or we have the black cat, and then we have the garden of insights, and they are both about trusting your intuition, of course, and here's the black cat, but, you know, he looks kind of mean here, and uh, the pentacle is behind him, a little bit creepy, but, uh, you know, he he is just kind of trusting, he has the eye of Horus, he's wearing a necklace, uh, they put this on this black cat, <laughs> and the eye of Horus is all about intuition, it is... Uh, that was the Egyptian king Horus, right? Uh, I don't remember the exact story about the king of Horus. Uh, I mean King Horus. No, I don't. Uh, but it is all about intuition, right? And the Garden of Insights is here too. And this lady here is outside and she is planting these. She's planting. But she's trying to get like, she's trying to connect to the earth and connect to her, connect to her, like her intuition she could maybe be making a decision and trying to make that decision based on her intuition. And what I mean by that is this card can talk about somebody who could be making a decision or... But they are trying to be kind of trusting their intuition and not thinking about money or uh, like any type of financial stability, right? And she's in the yard with the plants and here's the palace or you know, kind of like the mansion way in the back. She's trying to like separate herself uh, at least temporarily from anything that might like uh, that might kind of sway her intuition yeah I feel like that's what you're doing here uh, and we have the card of spell this is the enchantment card and here's the lady uh, she is uh, not a lady she is a a fairy yeah and here she is you know they always show these fairies and uh, uh, they're very she's very like she just looks very sweet here, and she's standing here uh, in the pond, right, with all the lush kind of uh, landscape here, or, you know, foliage, I should say. And here she is, like, opening her own rainbow, and in the back there is rain. I feel like this is what you want to do. Like you, like, you want a rainbow with somebody. You want, and I feel like you could be maybe going through something that is kind of rainy, like something that is maybe kind of making you unhappy, possibly. Mm -hmm. uh, because definitely uh, what's on your mind here is your life purpose and your career. The, you know, this life purpose, though, uh, could be a woman or a man. It could be, right? And then you could be thinking of career at the same time. Yeah, you're also thinking about your freedom here. Because here's the lady, and she is kind of in this gilded cage, right? Which is... Uh, you know, because she is wearing these beautiful clothes, but she's in this, uh, she's in this cage. You might be in a situation where there is money, but uh, you're not happy and you want freedom because this lady, she really wants to get out of the cage. And, you know, uh, 
she has these beautiful clothes, like she has some type of a financial prison, sort of, and then all these birds are flying around in the air, and she's thinking to herself, I just want to fly away. Yeah, I don't want to be here anymore. And then, of course, and then lastly here, we have this card of the queen. And this queen is somebody who may not be, uh, sometimes it is a queen who is not so strong. And what I, I don't mean like her muscles, no, I don't. I mean emotionally sometimes not so strong. Or maybe this is somebody who is, who has given up her power. You know, maybe they don't, for some reason, I mean, there's, there's a lot of different ways to give up your power. There is. And, uh. That could be anything. It could be, you know, it could be sometimes uh, deciding not to work can be giving up your power. It's not always. No, it's not. Because some people, some women stay home and take care of their kids. And that's exactly but what her, her and her husband both want, right? Yeah. But sometimes it can, it just depends on the, on the, the relationship itself. Uh, somebody could be giving up their, their, I was just using that as an example though, right? And that's kind of an iffy example, but uh, there could be many ways you can give up your uh, your power. It just could. You, you could be doing it with the wrong personality, right? Like, I don't know, like just kind of not supporting your person. You can kind of give up your power that way because, you know, you are not being seen as an ally and you don't have your person so next to you and so like supporting you back that's just one way you guys so let's get into the reading because that is a that's a whole different talk show yeah how you can give up your power it sure is right uh, so let's see what we have and today we're using some different cards uh for the tarot as well and i hope you guys are all well yeah long story short mm -hmm. let's see what we have yeah, somebody is very enchanting to you here, uh, Leo, because the naked couple, Eros, and then the spell where the fairy is making her own rainbow, and she is very uh, enchanted. Yeah, you could, somebody could really kind of like, really make you happy and kind of like brighten your day or something like that. Let's see, brighten your life, I feel like. This. So let's see what we have. We have the Sun card. This is marriage, happiness, and bright prospects. That's really what this is. The Star card. Wow. And uh, mm -hmm. this is. This can talk about kind of excesses. Mm -hmm. And talk about uh, somebody who actually. See, in this deck is very different. But the Star card can talk about somebody who's kind of being greedy. Yeah. You could be uh, maybe here, so it doesn't always have to talk about that, but you, there could be two people here. I feel like there probably could be, because there's no way, uh, you're, you're seeking your freedom here, or thinking definitely about being free, because of the lady in the, in the, in the cage, and then we have the naked couple over here. You wouldn't want to be free if you were with somebody who you thought of this way, right? These two, the naked couple who are like gazing into each other's eyes, like, wow. So let's see what else we have. And we have the Queen of Wands. This could definitely be you here. And, uh, mm-hmm. Uh, and this could just be you. Could be. Leo, we have the King of Wands in the past. This could be you again. Uh, and this Queen of Wands here, uh, in the root can talk about, it could, it doesn't have to be a Queen of, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be somebody who's kind of outspoken, possibly kind of a fiery person, a very positive person in the root. Let's see what else we have. What's on your mind is the Six of Swords, and here's the man leaving in the boat. Mm -hmm. This can talk about travel. And this can talk about, like, taking taking your vessel or yourself or your life to, like, a more of a peaceful place. Yeah, I can talk about that. And you have the Three of Pentacles. Let's see what else we have. This Three of Pentacles talks about kind of improvements coming in the near future. That's where it sits as well. We have the Ten of Swords in your concern. This is the death or an ending a situation. And I feel like this is what you are doing in this reading. This reading is very clear. You're really thinking of get, get, getting your freedom. Yeah, and I feel like this queen is probably the person you are with. Uh, and she doesn't necessarily have to give up her... Uh, up her power, but this queen here is kind of, she's kind of, uh, 
somebody that you could be maybe married to or in a union with that you're just not on the same page with that person. So maybe you are seeing that person, you know, some kind of way that that isn't so great, possibly. Mm -hmm. Because that queen is not the same woman who's, who stands next to you naked here. No, it's not. So this is about three people for sure. In your environment is the fool. This is somebody who is, uh, could be needing to take a leap forward. Yeah, somebody who needs that. Mm-hmm. And the Eight of Cups is what you want. You want to walk away from somebody here. This is very clear. We already have two leaving cards here. Uh, this talks about turning your back. Mm -hmm. And this is like, this card here, this is in your desire. You could be trying to figure out here if something is even worth salvaging. Yeah, I feel like you are, that's what you are doing here. Kind of like wondering, should I even bother like to stay with somebody? Yeah. I feel like you want to join forces with somebody from your past because we have the card here, the familiar card. We have the Queen of Pentacles in your outcome here. And this is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. It could be anybody, but this Queen of Pentacles, uh, it talks about somebody who is kind of like, somebody who works, somebody who's kind of a professional person. Yeah, sometimes it's somebody who is domineering. Hopefully not too much. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have here. I feel like you are uh, the Knight of Wands here, an important letter. Wow. Let's see what else we have for you. I feel like you could be, it's possible you are. Uh, writing somebody some type of a letter here and you could be you can you might be telling them that that you're leaving it's a possibility here we also have this you know this magician card can talk about like a secret coming out or some type of a surprise it could be good or bad you could be writing to somebody here like this just could be you the knight of wands though it can be but uh, this, uh, it's either you, the Knight of Wands, or you are writing somebody a, a letter, like an important letter. Maybe this is about your career, though, because remember, we have this card here. So let's see what else we have for you guys. In the past, mm-hmm. Okay, you could be traveling a lot, Leo. Maybe you are or you have been because there's a lot of water here. We see water here, water here. And in the past, maybe you were, you know, you have been on a few a few trips here. Let's see what else we have. And the two of wands. Mm-hmm. More of a journey here. Yeah. Wow. I feel like in the past what you were trying to do though is figure out kind of like who you want to go on a journey with or either who you want to stay with or who you want to move forward with and that would be the journey yeah so let's see what else we have in the near future let's see we have the empress delays will prove necessary wow so you have improvements coming but these are delayed wow this reading is really clear for these I feel like it is. Let's see what else we have. In your concern is the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. See, this says it right here. This is like the writing on the wall here. You're concerned about an ending and a brand new beginning with somebody else, I believe. A divine wish being granted. This is your concern. And this is your divine wish that you have, this naked person right here. You could feel really kind of mesmerized by somebody. You could. And in your in your environment as a fool, this is needing to take a leap of fo uh, a leap of faith. This the emperor mm -hmm, about your stability here. This is something that will bring you stability. Like you might be thinking here that if I leave somebody here, that maybe maybe you think you're going to lose some type of stability here. But this talks about improving your stability. 
and that there's a there's something like you need to take a leap of faith here. Yeah, you're unhappy with somebody, and there's somebody who really makes you happy that I believe you want to move forward with. We have the Eight of Cups, and this is uh, good news here. I just feel like this could be, you know, you could be wanting to give somebody news here that you're leaving somebody here, and that it's a possibility here, uh, and that there's nothing you can do, like, to help another situation. Yeah. And in your outcome, Leo, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is probably an earth sign here. And then we have frustrations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are frustrated because you want to move on from somebody here. I don't feel like, yeah, you. that's what you want to do. You want to move on. I feel like you are telling, you are thinking of telling somebody that you're leaving. Yeah. You could be out here. You could be like kind of in this garden of insights. Like, what do I do? Like, I really need to trust my intuition here. And I feel like you are telling yourself to be impartial. And what I mean by that is uh, don't think about any finances. Just think about do I want to stay here or do I want to go with somebody else? Like, you want to keep that part out of the equation. And that's what that card is about. It can be about that. And it talks about somebody who uh, is trusting their intuition. But in the past, maybe you did not do this, right? And the black cat is here. This is psychism. Yeah, and that cat almost looks like a dog. What do you, what do you call those dogs? Kind of like a bulldog. Uh, yeah, it totally looks like a bulldog. The I forgot the French bulldog in the face. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. We're going to end this reading, Leo. Uh Really interesting reading here, kind of a nudging you, telling you that this would be the best thing for you is to take a leap of faith on somebody right here. Yeah, and uh, I feel like th this, uh, if you do this, I feel like it will be a different type of abundance. Maybe not, maybe not financial, but definitely abundance and love, and uh, I feel like growth. Yeah, for sure. We're going to end this reading. Thank you so much for joining me here, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.